Hey guys, what's up? I'm here in beautiful Park City, Utah, out on a shoot, and I wanted to give you guys kind of an inside look at how to use a lot of the equipment. If you follow my YouTube channel, you know that I do a lot of talking about different equipment and kind of how it's used and things. And I'll try to give little examples, but I realize that I've never actually shown anything on an actual set. So I've got a downtime here between shoots, and so I wanted to show you some of the equipment. Uh, some of it I've talked about before, some of it will be in upcoming reviews uh, and tutorials, and uh, let's begin. All right, sorry about the quality on this phone here. I don't know how, how well this is going to come out, guys. But if you take a look here, uh, we're filming some workout videos. And so here's where uh, they stand. And then we've got the setup back here. So if you have followed the channel, you've seen the review on these lights. If you want to see it, you can click up at the top left. Uh, otherwise, let's keep moving here. We've got a Panasonic. GH4 right here, we're shooting 4K, so that way we can do digital zooms up to 200%. We've got uh, Rokinon Cine lens on there. Um, coming down from that, we've got a monitor so that the talent can see themselves. On screen, you can see you know, their workout things. They can they turn a little timer on, a, on an iPad down there. Uh, the other thing we've got here is the Zoom H6. We are feeding one line in uh, to track one. That's that's the uh, Rode NTG3 up there using the phantom power from the H6. We've got the H6 plugged in so that we can keep power running to it constantly. And then here on tracks three, uh, two, three, and four, we've got three of these Sennheiser uh, Evos here. And the Sennheiser Wireless Labs, you've seen those on reviews I've done, but here are just a few of the ear set mics that we bought. There's a lot of different ear set mics out there. These ones are actually from Pile Pro. They're 15 bucks, which is a great deal. Uh, let's see, where else can we go here? Um, let's keep going. Uh, I don't know, I don't see a whole lot of this, but this is a great way to mount your, your boom pole onto a C stand. A lot of people will buy you know, expensive little pieces that they can put on there, but all you really need to do is open up the boom arm and then tuck your actual uh, audio boom pole underneath the other knuckle there. So it uh, works really, really well. It's a way to save yourself a little bit of money. Let's go up here. We've got an advanced digital jib. It's uh, 8 or 12 feet. It's got an extension on it. Just got some cheap weights on the back to keep it nice and balanced. Um, there's the there's the microphones actually, those microphones are feeding down into the H6 there. We've got uh, Panasonic AJC-90, it's a little bit more forgiving than some DSLRs on a jib like this and it's great 1080 uh, quality video that we can then splice into the GH4 4K footage that we'll also be doing digital zooms on. This is actually a monitor that I use for aerial video, <clears throat> but it's great because it's multi-purpose, it has uh, an HDMI plug in there so that we can actually plug in via a 25 foot cord here into the AGAC 90 and then we can monitor what we're seeing. One thing that I forgot to mention is this best core pan tilt head right here which is an absolutely essential um, add-on to buying a jib so that you can do nice shots left and right while using your remote here at the end to uh, to justify uh, where you're at. Clapboard uh, for syncing all of the camera and audio up. I guess so finally we've got a binder just to keep everything organized. We'll need to make sure uh, you know when you're when you're on a shoot that you get releases from any talent as well as location releases. Um, editing. So this is going to be very very important to keep everything that you edit nice and organized. We've got a couple of uh, these are eight terabyte uh, RAID drives, so what we're doing is we are mirroring two four terabyte drives in here. So there you go guys, there's some of the equipment that I am using on this shoot. Now we did use, um, you know, some, we did use a glide cam and we used, uh, you know, a slider at different points in the production because we shot a couple promo videos and now we're shooting these 60 workout videos and, and some other content for them as well. So it's just really important that you take into consideration each step of the process along the way. Um, and really make sure that you back up all of your client's footage. And, and I, I can go into more details. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Um, I'll for sure 
uh, put little annotated links as soon as I get reviews or just other information about some of the equipment that I've talked about here and showed you uh, in the room there. Uh, but yeah, I got a I got a piece out right now because I got to finish up the shoot here and also enjoy this beautiful home that we're staying at here. Got a got a hot tub downstairs, got a movie theater room, and it's a golf course here behind me. You can see it's just it's just beautiful. Anytime you're gonna come to Park City, I would take the opportunity. Um, I would take the opportunity, and I think you know you should as well. Uh, so anyway, leave any comments, questions below, and. Uh, be sure to subscribe if you like this, and I'll come out with more videos soon. Sorry it's taken so long to come out with more videos, guys. Uh, I've just been so insanely busy. Um, but yeah, look forward to making more content. We've got lots of new stuff uh, coming down the way here for you guys. So look forward to keeping going with you guys. All right, guys, so here I am on my two-week shoot out here in Park City. And uh, as you can see here, uh, you know, roughing it, roughing it out here in Park City got a movie theater room so after a, a long day of of working I don't know maybe 14 hours I'm gonna take a little bit of a break here a little bit of a breather and uh, watch a movie in this beautiful theater room here oh hey sorry it's so dark guys this is how you relax though in Park City I guess after a, a long day's shoot just here in a here in a hot tub enjoying Izzy out here in a big house in a nice little neighborhood here in Park City on a golf course. Just enjoying it. Alright, see you later.